You bought a new Ryzen CPU after seeing such amazing performance that someone is getting in PCMR subreddit, but you are not getting that performance, so you downloaded Ryzen Master to overclock it and optimize it, but when you opened it, you got confused how to do it. Well then, watch this video till the end because in this video, I am going to tell you everything that you need to know about Ryzen Master. Or in other words, the video to master Ryzen Master. And if you don't know what Ryzen Master is, then no worries, I will explain that to you too. Ryzen Master is AMD's first party software to tweak your CPU and optimize it to get the last bit of performance from it. And because it is made officially by AMD, it is safe. Now here are some things you need to understand before doing anything. Optimizing means stability not pushing the boundaries of physics. And you not only need stability while playing games or doing something CPU intensive, you also need stability on your CPU while doing your day-to-day -day tasks. For an example, transferring files and so on and so forth. Also keep your feet to the ground. You don't need a 500 to 1000 megahertz overclock to see a significant difference in performance. Even 100 megahertz can go long way. Nowadays, both manufacturers like Intel and AMD push their CPU to the point that there is not enough room to overclock it that much further unless and until you have some exotic cooling like uh, uh, LN2 or dry eyes and those are really meant for competition and enthusiast for fun not for day-to-day -day use. Also while we are talking about cooling the better the cooling you have the better the stability the better the performance you're going to have but that doesn't mean now you have to go and buy a expensive AIO most air coolers will do fine if you bought the right one also if your CPU came with a box cooler it's also quite sufficient but it can be a little limiting that means your temperature might get a little high that you might not be that comfortable about now that I'm done with my lecture and most of the impatient ones have already left the video let's start by first downloading few softwares first is Ryzen Master obviously if you haven't downloaded it Download it, go to the AMD's official website. I've linked it down in the description. Then download Cinebench R23, ADA64, and Hardware Info 64 or whatever that was, Hardware Info. I will link down all that in the description, so don't worry. When you're done downloading Ryzen Master and installing it, then when you open it, not for the first time, but every time when you're going to open it, you're gonna see a warning message. Now, don't worry about it too much, click OK, you're gonna be fine and not gonna blow up your house. And then you're going to see a very simple interface. Now on the left side, there is information about your CPU, the clock speed, the temperature and the volts. And on the right side, there is a section called control mode where there are three options, default, auto OC and manual. Now, if you don't wanna think too much or don't want to tinker with your hardware too much, then set it to auto OC. And then in the next section where there are also three options, off, all cores and per core. Choose the per core option and then click start optimizing. Then it will show you a prompt, click OK and let it do its thing. And it will restart your PC, so don't panic. It's just the way how it works. And also in this uh, picture, you can see that it is showing that it will take eight hours. It didn't took me eight hours, it just took me one hour. It's just well, figuring out how much time it would take. Now, after it's done optimizing, it will show you a prompt and you will click OK. Then it will restart your PC so the software can write all the new configuration to your BIOS. So you don't have to do it manually or whenever you boot your PC again, you have to click on apply again and again it will write it on the BIOS so you don't have to worry about that and now run Cinebench for 10 minutes and see the score I am sure it's going to be improved and yes I forget to tell you before doing the start optimizing run Cinebench for 10 minutes to see what's your baseline score is and then after it's done optimizing then run again for 10 minutes to see how much it has improved now 10 minutes Cinebench test is quite enough to check stability for a lot of people because Cinebench really pushes your CPU but I would tell you to be cautious run ADA64 for 30 minutes 
and see where the temperatures are rising also open hardware info to see how many watts it's taking what's the voltage it's running at and then after that play some games to see that everything is stable and everything is working fine you are not getting any crashes now amd's ryzen master software has came a long way and this auto optimization thing is really good enough for a lot of people who don't want to get their hands dirty but if you want to then watch the video from here on first click on the advanced view on the bottom and then you're gonna see so many options and you're gonna get overwhelmed but don't worry i will explain that so sit tight first go to the settings tabs then go to the stress test time duration make it 220 seconds and then on the curve optimization section make sure right oc offset to bios is turned on apply it then click ok so the configuration that you're going to change will get written to the BIOS. Now that you're done, go to the home tab. First thing you're going to see are a lot of meters. Some of them you will need, some of them you won't. Temperature, you need to check the temperature. Peak speed, you need to see what's your CPU clock is during a stress test. PPT is to check your socket power consumption. CPU power to see how many watts your CPU is consuming, TDC for checking the sustained current limits and EDC for peak current limit. The next thing is your CCD. If you can't see all the cores like me, then you need to expand the CCD tab. There you are going to see all the cores and some cores are marked with a star and some are with a silver dots. The star means that it is the best star core of that particular CCD. That means it's the best of the best. The silver is the best of the best but the second best. Then go to the profile one and click on auto overclocking and max out PPT, TDC and EDC. And don't worry, it won't burn your CPU. Your CPU will consume as much power as it needs. These are just the upper limits. Then also max out boost overdrive CPU. It will generally go up to 200 and then click apply and test, which will restart your PC. And then when your PC done restarting, it will automatically open Ryzen Master. And for two minutes, it will do some stress tests. And now you have to check your overclock is stable or not. Do the same thing that I've told you to do in the auto optimization section. Run Cinebench for 10 minutes, run ADA64 for 60 minutes here and then play some games. If nothing crashes, then you are fine. Your CPU got 200 megahertz boost. But if Cinebench crashes, I will tell you to run it few times two or three times more and if you're seeing that it is crashing all the time then it means that your cpu cannot sustain all that why because there's something called silicon lot and what that is two different person can have same cpu but the capability of those cpus can be completely different from each other one cpu can be pushed further another cpu cannot be pushed by that much now why this happens and all it's another video for another day for now understand that you are not that lucky it's just dumb luck so now what to do well go to ryzen master again and in the boost overdrive section lower it by 25 it goes in the 25 increment or decrement lower it by 25 then hit apply and test then again run Cinebench and again if it crashes then another 25 decrement and another 25 decrement and another 25 if it's crashing and crashing and crashing where you see that it is not crashing anymore run ADA64 for 60 minutes play some games to see everything is stable or not and everything is working fine then my friend you finally overclocked your CPU you can call yourself an overclocker and I love Ryzen Master for this reason this is such a simple way to overclock back in the days again I'm not that old but I have been tinkering with hardware when I was younger like I was a nerdy kid okay so back in the days you had to go to bios then precisely de increase or decrease voltage then increase your clock speed then boot your pc then do the testing stability testing then again if it not if it's if it isn't stable then go to bios and all that it, it was a very messy work but it was fun Ryzen Master made it simple for all of us and as you can see you have finally overclocked your cpu now this is the fast part of the puzzle 
of optimizing your CPU. There is another part and that is called under volting. Now, this video has already a little too long. I'm sure nobody is watching up until now. If you are, you have my regards. Thank you. But that's going to come in the next part. So this would be a right time to subscribe. And if you want a bigger explanation of what everything means like PPT, EDC and all that, let me know in the comment section. I will make a separate video about that too. Until then, you can like the video if you liked it. If you haven't, well, feel free to dislike, leave a nasty comment because I wasted your time. Yes, I deserve it. But if you liked it, then hit like and, uh, you know, leave a good comment which will make my day. This is it. If you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe, well, do it by here. And this is Akash. I will see you guys next time. I don't know when, but I will definitely see you. So, peace.